So there's a point in Elvis, at the very end, they cut to footage of the real Elvis Presley playing. And I was confused for a second because I thought it was still Austin Butler performing as Elvis in that final scene. And it wasn't, it was real footage of Elvis. So that just goes to show how good a performance Austin Butler gave in this movie. He looked like Elvis, he performed like Elvis, he just had everything perfect. The voice was awesome. He just, every single thing about his performance was perfect. And I, I think we got our best actor for the year. Now, that being said, we haven't seen half the movies coming out this year yet, but he's definitely gonna be nominated. That was an incredible performance. And just, it's like, it's the musical biopic thing. Rami Malek was nominated for Bohemian Rhapsody. I don't see Austin Butler not getting nominated for Elvis. Um, Tom Hanks was also awesome as the Colonel. It's rare to not like him, but he was very unlikable in this movie. And that almost made me smile because I, I was just loving Tom Hanks trying to make himself so unlikable and play a more villain-like character, if you can call Tom, Tom Parker villain. I think of him as a villain, but it's very, it's real life, so it's not a hero's in the Yeah, anyways, I thought those performances were great. And the movie itself was actually pretty good. I think this might be one of Baz Luhrmann's best movies. I think it's my favorite of his other than Moulin Rouge. Um, it is a little, like, he's a little strange. His style's not fully there all the time. He does, he does do some things. Like, when it starts, it's like, okay, this is a Baz Luhrmann movie for sure. The editing's very quick, like, like you'd expect. There's lots of stuff going on on screen, lots of colors. The sound mix is actually really, really good. It's incredible. Just, um, how they use music and stuff. Uh, I, I didn't mind how they used the songs and stuff, although I still would have preferred they just keep Elvis's versions of stuff in it or Austin Butler performing with Elvis rather than get people like Doja Cat and others to sing their versions of the songs. And I just didn't like that those were in the movie. Um, but it, it, as a full product, just watching the movie, it, it was fine. It worked for the film. Um, I just would have liked if they went a little bit of a different direction. But the sound mix editing was awesome. Some of the best I've probably ever seen because that's just what Boz Lerman is so, so good at. Uh, the movie is a little long. By the two hour mark, you start to get a little tired. It feels like you've been there for a while. So I think, but the last 40 minutes are also incredible. So I think they needed to cut a little bit down at the start and move into it faster. But overall, it was really good. I, I found it was more a movie about the business, the show business, and stuff, like the relationship between Tom Parker and Elvis, rather than Elvis's music. But, and I found that was fascinating, just diving into that. I'm someone who's never really been a huge fan of Elvis, I've heard his music, but it's really cool to learn all this about him. I don't know how much is true. I assume a lot of it is based on what I've heard. Um, but it was really interesting, and I thought it was a very well done film, and excellently acted, well directed, and really well edited. I really thought that was awesome. So I would highly recommend it if you like these kind of musical biopics, if you're a fan of Elvis's music, or if you're just interested in looking for a really, really good film. It's, I enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. 